What's up everybody, that car guy Eddie here and today another video. This is a video on the 200, that's right. This is like kind of the first video that we're gonna do as far as modification the 200. And whenever you're talking about modifying something, the first thing you wanna do is maintain the maintenance. Um, there's not a whole lot of videos on the 200, so I know that this may seem like a simple video to some of you, or it may seem like something that's kind of redundant, but honestly, this is something that all machines should have on it. Um, I feel from the factory, uh, I know that my, my Can-Am here did have one on it, but I'm not sure if it came that way from the dealer or if the manufacturer put it on. But let me pick this thing right up here off the ground, and if you saw the thumbnail, you probably already know what it is. It's a battery tender, that's right. This is the brand I use. Um, any battery tender is fine. This one from Stanley, uh, it's cool because it has auto shut off mode on it. So basically what happens is with a battery, you have um, a range of charge, right? And this is zero and this, this is 100. And as you charge, batteries have what's called memory effect. For those of you that are older and understand what memory effect is on batteries, you probably understand this from older cell phones or even the newer stuff. As you charge them slowly but surely, your battery efficiency goes down, down, and down. And what happens is, is that you charge up, and if you don't charge it all the way down, there's memory effect there. And what the memory effect will do is it will, the battery will think that it's smaller than it actually is, so it won't ever charge to maximum capacity. So how does that have to do with anything? Well, what a battery tender does is it actually keeps the battery charged and decharged effectively. So instead of just cranking juice into it all the time, it'll crank juice up and then it'll let it empty a little bit and then it'll fill it up with a little bit more. And it's a maintainer more than anything else. Like I said, these things are like anywhere from 20 to $25 is totally worth it. This is easier than buying a new battery every season. Just pull it in your garage, plug it in, and you'll always be ready for the next ride. So there's my spiel on battery tenders. So now, how do we put it in the Razor? Well, stay tuned and uh, you'll find out. All right, so approaching the Razor 200 here, uh, these are basically what you're gonna take out. These are two seat bolts. They are 10 millimeter seat bolts and they are located in the back of the seat. Um, the best way I found to do this is actually gonna be getting in from the passenger side. For those of you parents that are out there, um, I'm 6'2", 280. So getting into this thing with the roof um, is very difficult, but you can get to the bolts. I just use an extension and a deep 10 socket. So there's two bolts in the back of the seat here. Uh, what you do is you slide the seat all the way forward and there's a bolt here and then there's a bolt here right by your tools. And uh, unlike most razors that have quick release seats, it'd be cool if this came with it, but it's pretty easy. You take those two seats out and then I'm not sure if you could see down here in the seat track, but if you slide the seat back, you see how how it, it'll come out. So it slides, the front of it is actually held to the frame. So you, there you go. The seat just comes right out. So let's pull the seat out and see what we got under here. First of all, ugh, this is the first time that the seat has been out. So, oh, I already see some jankiness down there. I already see some jankiness down there. So I'm curious if I could put better razor seats in here because these things are kind of small. But, all right, so let's see what you got going on underneath the seat. So this is the business end. Uh, let's see. This looks awkwardly just placed here. Oh, I guess, I guess it is mounted. Okay, so you got your fuse block here. This is your OBD2 um, or, of course, your programming. This is my... <laughs> tools that are just loose. Way to go, PDI. Uh, I'm assuming they're supposed to be under that, but I'll deal with that in a second. Because this is a battery tinder review. So, you take off your battery cover here. I'm always like, oh yeah, it's so easy. Until you're trying to do it one-handed on camera, right? There we go. Take off your strap, remove your battery cover, and you have your no-name battery. It's pretty simple. When you buy these battery tenders, they actually come with a pigtail. Like this here. Um, if it comes with a fused one, it's better. Uh, you know, just for whatever reason. If you have a surge, fused, fused anything connected to the battery is better. There's my wisdom of the day. 
but it's pretty simple. You're just gonna take a Phillips head screwdriver, attach that to positive, that to negative, and then the pigtail will run over to the side of the car, just like that, and you'll be able to plug it in and make it work. Uh, and that's it. That's how you install a battery tender. Um, man, many, 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 many modifications are gonna come to this little bad boy here. Um, as you can tell, I've already gotten one. We put a roof on it. Uh, the guys over at AFX took care of us and got us a really cool roof. I mean, the best part I like about the roof is that it slopes down in the back. Um, and it gives us really cool, really cool rounded effect, which is nice. <clears throat> Selfless branding. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. But uh, that's how you include a battery tender. So like I said, it's important. Over here in the Can-Am, I have one too. Like I said, just connect it straight to the battery. And then this way, there it is right there. And then this way, everything's always taken care of. All right, so now you know, short little video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the content, definitely consider liking and subscribing. Like I said, we got a lot more stuff to do this 200. We also do a lot of shenanigans and giveaways and things like that. Anyways, thanks for watching, ride hard.